tonight's video is going to be an empties video and I think I've only ever done one of these but I mean I've been collecting this stuff for oh my god such a long time and it's about time that I get rid of this like literally there's so much stuff here and I don't know how I'm gonna be able to get through this without this being 20 minutes long but I have this big Sigma bag pretty much filled I mean I, I don't know why it's taking me so long to film one of these but I'm gonna show you my trash and give you some mini reviews so first things first there might be more in there but I have let's see one two three four five six empty makeup wipes because I mean I'm sure there's more of these that I threw away this is probably been at least six months worth of, worth of empties but yeah I this is as you can tell I really love the Neutrogena makeup remover this is my favorite one that I've ever tried and I got a lot of it at empty so yeah everything nothing bad to say about that at all except for that it does leave your face like kind of wet afterwards not in a bad way not in a greasy way I just sometimes if I have to take my makeup off and I want to redo it that's a little bit of pain but there's nothing bad next I'm just grabbing these randomly this is cotton rounds just some generic generic ones that I decided to throw in there because whatever um, this is really in no particular order but yeah I'm just gonna move on to hair stuff now I guess because of a lot of it so I have two empty shampoos and conditioners that are my favorite L'Oreal Mo Power Moisture ones um, yeah I'm on a third one right now and they're bigger so really like these just leave your hair very soft and my hair gets dry pretty easily so I like this and it's just good generic shampoo and conditioner you know drugstore affordable good I have another shampoo or no conditioner from a while ago that I just finished up I used to have like a whole bunch in my shower mm, it smells really good um, but I use them all up this is the organics tea treatment conditioner I have a dry shampoo Batiste original, a little baby one. Um, I really like this. Batiste is like my favorite um, right now. Um, I have a bigger one of the Sassy Daring Wild one. I really like that. It's my favorite one. Probably will be in upcoming empties. But let me know if you guys like this because I'll keep doing them if you like these videos. Um, more hair. I have an empty Garnier Fructis um, Shine Spray. I really like this for when my hair is straight or when it's natural or whatever. Just add a little extra shine and make it look really good um I've had this for a really long time and I have another one so yeah it's really good and it's affordable and yeah oh also another good one is the L'Oreal one but it also defrizzes so that's a bonus but it smells awful I still like it though I have healthy sexy hair soy wheat tr tr soy tri wheat leave in I can't say this soy tri wheat leave in conditioner this is really good it like I can't really explain it, but it's like a spray, and I use this a lot. It like detangled my hair, smelled really good. I want to buy um, a full version of this, but it's really big. I don't know if I'm going to, but I would definitely repurchase this. I haven't yet, but I will. It's a good for right when your hair is wet. Um, it just makes it look extra good when it's dry. I think that's all the hair stuff. So body, I got a shaving cream. Skin to Mitt, it's my favorite brand as of right now. It's this is the Raspberry Rain. I have a mango one that's empty as well. I think that's from yeah, that one was from camp, but I don't have it. But yeah, this is a good brand. I like it, and they have really good scents, and they make my legs soft. And then my favorite um, body wash. Um, now I I've, I already repurchased it. It's the Olay Advanced Ribbon Smoothing Cream. It smells amazing, and it's very hydrating. Um, just a really good body wash. Thanks, Emma, for the recommendation at camp last year. And then makeup-y kind of things. Oh, wait, no, another body one. I have a mini little grapefruit body scrub from the body wash. Yeah, this is good. I have a mango one. Um, I like it to exfoliate my legs. Yeah. Okay, face slash makeup. First, I have um, some oil removing oil blotting sheets. These are Neutrogena. I've had these forever and I finally ran out of them and I have clean and clear ones now because I don't know where to buy these. But yeah, they're, they're just oil absorbing sheets. They do the job. I have a makeup remover. I probably have another one of these that's been empty. Um, but it's the Maybelline Clean Express. I like to use this sometimes. It's eye makeup remover. I usually use wipes but this is for the occasional times. 
can't really think of times when I use this right now, but yes, that's good. I think I'm getting through this pretty quickly, don't you think? <laughs> but it's a lot of stuff. Okay, the rest of this makeup, I actually have empty stuff. Um, first thing, I have a concealer. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, spongy one. I really love this. It's the highlighter one. I repurchased it, I believe, and it is just really good. You've heard me talk about this, but it's empty. And I don't have anything else besides five, count them, five mascaras that I used up. I like never go through them and I have so many open right now and my goal is to go through them and I've been doing a pretty good job. But some of them were dried out. I'm going to show you them. First is They're Real. This is the mini. I'm surprised this hadn't dried out quicker, honestly. It's They're Real. It's a really great mascara. Um, I have another mini of this so I haven't had to purchase the full size yet. But yes, definitely recommend checking this out if you can. It's a really, really, really good lengthening, volumizing, just a really great mascara. I am talking really fast, I'm sorry. Okay, I have another high-end one, Tarte, um, this dried out. But it's, this is a really, really also good mascara. It's more, gives you more natural eyelashes, but yeah, I think I repurchased this. It was either this one or the other one, but um, I would buy this again. It's really great, and it was one of my favorite mascaras for a while. And then I have two CoverGirl, my um, Clump Crusher, which is my baby, my absolute favorite mascara ever, and I did repurchase. And same with the um, Lash Blast. They're both really amazing. Um, I mean, Clump Crusher is better to me, but this one's really volumizing. This one's also volumizing, lengthening. No clumps with either of them. CoverGirl has great mascaras. And then also repurchased Essence Eye Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. Um, it has a huge wand. It makes her eyelashes really big. It's kind of a dupe for the real. So yeah, I repurchased all of them. I haven't really opened any yet except for the, the Clump Crusher because I'm trying to use up my mascaras, like I said. But that is everything, believe it or not. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my little empties review video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see next, more empties, more reviews, anything like that. I will be sure to get that done. I've been filming lots recently, so good for me. But yeah, um, that's it. Follow me on all my social media websites. Links are down below as always. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.